Hey, what's up guys? My name is Moda and welcome back to the Mining Stacker YouTube channel. Today's video, we do have a new ETH hash ETC ASIC coming from a kind of unknown company. Specs are freaking ridiculous though, right? So we're gonna look at the specs, we're gonna look at profitability, we're gonna look at our price though and see if this thing makes sense at all, right? So it is pretty interesting, pretty fascinating. If this thing does pan out, this will be the new king in this segment, right? So talk about all that good stuff. If that sounds good guys, stay tuned. Let's get to this thing. So we'll just get right to it. Huge shout out to T Swift. He is the main seller for this currently, or not even the main, the only seller of this thing currently. And he is the one who brought this to our attention. He's the one who has it for sale, right? So this is an ASIC. It's a ETH hash ETC ASIC, the EZ100. The key specs, 12.8 giga hash. Yes, 12.8 at 2300 watts okay so the wattage if you notice is in line with the competition right it's right where like the e9 pro is kind of close to the jazz miner but there's a big drastic difference and we'll compare it to the others right the big layering thing though aside from it being a super small unknown manufacturer that freaking price tag twenty five thousand dollars right so ton of ton of risk right especially number one it being just an unknown brand but this price point right the price point was more competitive maybe it'd be more appealing but let's look at it let's compare it to everything else so he did provide us with a couple pictures of this thing let's take a quick peek it is just your generic chinese asic again you're gonna see a lot of these things don't be surprised to see them Throughout the year, especially with like the more popular algos and even maybe less efficient ones. The interesting one here is that it's just so far ahead of the competition though, right? Typically a lot of times you'll see things and they're pretty close, pretty similar like we saw with like those Blue Star, the Black Star, those like LTC and Doge miners, which were kind of close to like the L7 at the time, but they were actually available to purchase. They weren't sold out, right? So we're gonna see this this is gonna be a trend that's going to be here to stay especially once we really do start even though it does feel like it right now the price has been going up like crazy but after the having maybe a few months after the having once we are confirmed in that super bullish cycle i expect these things to continue to come out right and he did have a picture of it hashing away but now let's compare it to the competition right which the previous king period was the X16P coming from Jazz Miner. Okay. This thing, less wattage on this guy is 1900 watts, but more than double the hash rate is this new guy. Okay. Again, the new guy is 12.8. This one's at 5.8 giga hash, right? We're not going to do a super in depth comparison just because realistically, this other ASIC, it's not really going to be viable, right? I would not recommend. Purchasing in it and um, purchasing it unless you have a ton of cash flow to just throw away because again, it's an unknown manufacturer Super small manufacturer. The other big thing to note there with them was the scale, right? We can see here 20 units available for the March batch 50 in April, right? So tiny tiny company Would not really recommend But it's all up to you, right? But let's just compare it just for comparison's sake not going to be, it's going to be easy math, right? So this guy, we can round it up to six giga hash. It's more than double, right? So there is a pretty significant increase in the efficiency, right? And that's considering that this guy, the X16P, was a pretty good increase in efficiency over the E9 Pro, right? So it's a few generations over the E9 Pro, right? Again, the big layering issue, though, is that freaking price. The price with this guy was already a problem, right? This guy is at 9K. The other guy, again, is almost triple the price. Okay, so that is something you really have to take into consideration, especially considering the fact that Jazz Miner has held up fairly well, right? I've heard very few to pretty much no complaints about them whatsoever in the years that they've been in the game, right? Versus the other, again, the other guy's a brand new one. This one, you're paying that premium for the efficiency. And with this new guy, you're paying, paying an even greater premium in comparison to the E9 Pro. Right. But now, though, it does show how outdated the E9 Pro is. Right. Because, again, even this model, the 3.68 at 2200 watts. So very similar watts, but about 3x the freaking hash rate, though. Right. So 
pretty really big increase in efficiency right so what i see from it though is that if this small manufacturer has access to these type of chips to this type of hardware don't be surprised to see bitmain release something when they have to right they're not going to with this thing again freaking 20 unit batch 50 units the following month not really competition there but do not be surprised to see them have something in the wings kind of waiting right because again the e9 pro i don't think it was like really wasn't that big of an upgrade over like even the e9 okay if we go back to the e9 it was 2.4 giga hash at 2500 watts so, so it was a decent upgrade but wasn't something crazy but you have to consider the fact that this guy had been available or made way before it was released to the public right so at that point when it did come out it's because they were done with it right so that was the reason and then about eight months later is when the e9 pro finally came out and the e9 pro if you guys remember it's 12.99 that thing i don't think they were too optimistic about it because it was again it was most likely already older hardware okay so it did Go through price discovery though. Again, there was a period of time where the thing was selling for like 3K, 3,500, 4,000 after the initial sell. It did level out and just pretty much throughout the whole summer it was available anywhere from like 1,800 to 2,200, right? Ultimately now though, it's a lot higher. It's about 3K. It's about the same price as the X16Q, which the reason like we, when we had done that comparison with the X16Q and the E9 Pro at the time, could buy almost two e9 pros for one of these right now they're pretty much on par right so currently like the e9 pro for example it's about 3k right and that's where the x16q is okay so something to think of there as we look at the profitability for this new guy it is pretty extreme right so one thing it they can do etc and zill which zill we know is going to go away here pretty soon but let's factor that in and this is how they get that number. This is how we got that number of freaking 69 bucks in revenue a freaking day, right? 552 electric, $63 profit currently, right? So profitability is there, but again, keep in mind, the Zill factor will go away. So when you take that portion out, if you're just mining ETC, again, you can mine these other coins, but if you're mining ETC specifically, <laughs> oh, excuse me, the profitability changes quite drastically, right? So the income goes down to about 48 bucks a day, profitability 42 bucks a day, which is still ridiculously good if you believe that there will be upside to ETC, which in the bull market, not financial advice, but it's extremely likely that it will continue to go up. So it is good in those regards. Is it 25K good? My opinion, definitely not, right? If it was maybe a Bitmain unit, a Jazz Miner unit had a name behind, we had good idea of potential reliability parts availability and such then maybe but you're paying a crazy premium for a brand that we've never heard of we've never dealt with and we have yet to even see this thing come stateside and actually be able to confirm it right so that's why we're not really doing anything in depth just because of that but the big takeaway for me though is again if this small manufacturer has access to these chips don't be surprised to see bitmain or jazz miner release a refresh i don't really think we'll see anything from jazz Miner just because again this guy came out very recently the e9 pro though again it's been a year it did come out last march so don't be surprised to see them release an updated version who knows if it's this efficient but again if this off-brand company was able to release something i'm sure they could release something just as well or better right so this is just a little reminder some of you guys have been asking about the E9 Pros and such. Again, it has been out for a year, so just keep that in mind. Who knows, though? Maybe they don't release one until next year, because, again, realistically, for any of these manufacturers, it makes more sense for them to just wait until we are officially confirmed in that bull sentiment, that bullish feeling. I know everything's going up right now, but, like, three to four to five months after the halving, when things are starting to go bananas, that's when these guys will really be releasing them because they're going to be able to sell them for multiples of what they're currently selling them for now right so from the business perspective it makes sense for us again we'd rather see them release now whether it's still potentially cheap right but again that's the risk we play keep in mind that there most likely will be more announcements from other manufacturers and we do know that bitmain typically does make big announcements at their wdms summits 
They have two of them a year, one in the spring, one in the fall. The spring one is in a few weeks. They have yet to make any announcements, right? So it's not guaranteed that they'll debut something new, but typically this is, if they have anything in the pipeline, this is when they start talking about it and this is when they announce it, right? So keep this date in mind, March 29th. A lot of the times though, they do leak it out prior, but March 29th is when this thing does take effect. So who knows what they announce, if they announce anything at all, right? It's just speculation. But um, as we look at the prices of these things, again, they've just been stagnant. They haven't really gone down. They've only gone up, actually. The X16Q at one point was down to like 2500 At this point, it's probably not going to reach that price point anymore. It's been staying here, anywhere from here to 3500 actually. Right? And same thing with the E9 Pro. Maybe we'll see a little dip, but uh, we're not going to see those like prices that were in the summer where it was like 1700 1800 bucks for quite a while. Right, those were the times to really get in, because if you did get in that time, you most likely already made your money back. Right, so does it make sense to try to jump in now, now that it's been out for an entire year, and it's almost double what it was prior? It's up to you, right? But not something that would be on my radar. But again, the key takeaway from this thing is though, is that it is potential for other companies to start releasing something better. Right. Who knows when they do? Maybe they'll wait it out. Maybe this thing is BS. Right. We don't even know if this thing is real. But at 25K, it's definitely a no go. But it's just good competition. Right. So if this thing does pan out to be real and they do start mass producing this thing and they price it a little bit more aggressively, maybe it forces these guys to actually do something. Maybe we do get price reductions. But realistically, I don't see that happening again only because it's very limited in comparison right maybe if bitmain does something maybe it'll force jazz minor lower who knows but at the end of the day more competition is welcome right maybe not something in this price region <laughs> maybe something more in the like three to five k range because again we do want to see these manufacturers we do want to see competition because it's better for us as the consumer right regardless of whether you agree with their decisions um, regardless of who it is, whether it's, you know, Jazz Miner, Forest Miner, InnoSilicon, if they come back, uh, iPolo, even though iPolo has been super slacking in innovation in this segment, who knows, maybe they have something up their sleeve because they've just been repurposing the iPolo minis essentially with like the little hydro unit and the other weird GPU looking thing. Who knows though, right? We'll, we'll keep our eyes open, but uh, expect... This trend to continue these small companies, I would have expected it more later in the year, right? That is kind of a little bit early, especially for this price premium, but who knows, right? But we do want to stay aware of these things. We do want to stay ahead because, again, now the key thing here is that we saw it. We know to expect potentially some from others. So, like, for me, this would put the nail in the coffin for getting an E9 Pro, at least at these price points, right? depends if you are able to get a deal on them or not but to me this is kind of signaling that the tech is out there because again it is kind of different with these miners though because it's not your typical asic chips right so it is a different segment it does work differently so keep that in mind also right so it is kind of hard to predict what's going to come here it's a little bit easier with the typical asic chips so this is slightly different so keep that in mind as well so let me know, guys. Are you guys thinking about this thing? Are you guys balling out of control and going to pre-order four of these things from T-Swift? Or are you not? Because <laughs> right? to me, again, freaking for that amount of money, I would rather roll the dice and wait for that like Alethium Acer, right? But let me know, guys, what you guys think. Are you guys still considering any of these? Do you guys have E9 Pros and they've been rocking? I know some people complain about them being a little bit quirky, but I know like a lot of people have issues with like the dashboard and such, but let me know how those guys are doing. Thank you guys for watching, guys. Please comment, like, and subscribe, guys, and I am out.